What's up guys, Tommy here with another Airsoft video, and as you can see right here, I have the ASG CZ P09. Now this gun is pretty old, it's been out for about 6 years now, but that does not make this gun any less relevant than it was before. You'll see it at every single airsoft field, every single airsoft store, creeping up on you, sneaking up on your shoulder just like your uncle, and that is for one good reason. This is one damn good gun. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this is such a good gun. Oh yeah, and quick reminder to subscribe so I can make more amazing content like this and even better content in the future. Thanks. Right, so in typical airsoft review fashion, I'm going to start off by talking about the features of this gun before we move on to anything else. So let's get right into it. First off, this gun features a polymer lower receiver and a metal slide. For you people who like to get tactical, they included a threaded barrel and a bottom rail. And for all you people who freak out over white dotted sights, they had you in their thoughts and prayers. Now, if you have trouble using most guns controls because they're too small for your fingers, you have nothing to worry about with this gun because it has some quite oversized controls. The stippled texture makes the gun look good and also has some much needed grip. In the back, you have a beaver tail to stop the slide from coming back and pinching your fingers. And finally, serrated edges on the slide to give it a stylish look and some much needed extra grip. All of this in its full frame pistol package, which should feel comfortable in just about every hand size and shape. The included magazine holds 25 rounds, which is a huge selling point for this pistol, which in my opinion makes this an ideal sniper sidearm. This is a gas blowback pistol, meaning in order to cycle the rounds, the slide needs to be pushed back by the gas. Now I don't have a chrono, but I do know this gun shoots between 360 FPS and 340. In terms of usable range with this gun, I get about 150 feet, but the accuracy test goes as follows. For my accuracy test, I'll be shooting at two targets, the first one being at 45 feet and the second one being at 85 feet. For whatever reason, my gun wasn't working properly in that moment, but all I know is now it works just fine, so that was weird. So, what are my overall takeaways from this gun? I say it is a pretty damn good gun. Uh, if you're a beginner looking for your first pistol, I'd say get this. If you're anybody looking for a pistol, I'd say get this, because it's always something that you can just rely on and uh, use for as long as you play airsoft. Uh, it shoots far, it shoots accurate, feels good in your hands, uh, and so far it's something I can just rely on all the time on the field. Um, the thing I don't like about this gun, and it's not the gun itself, it's the mags. Um, my first one broke from just dropping it, and I hear a lot of people um, have problems with these leaking. Um, but I'd say to prevent that, you can get a $4 bottle of silicone lube to put on it sometimes when it's dry and on your co2 cartridges before you put them in and that should protect it and elongate the lifespan of your magazines um but overall i'd say if you're looking for your first airsoft pistol or just a new pistol and you're looking at this gun i'd say definitely go for it because it will not disappoint you so what did you learn from this video uh subscribe to me because i'm pretty damn close to 50 subscribers Bye.